Uh, 200 subscribers. Press start. Hey guys, today is February 17, 2018, and this is your daily vlog number 39. I uh, want to thank everyone that has subscribed to my channel. I uh, sincerely appreciate everyone that's also viewing my channel and everyone that has commented on my channel. Uh, appreciate every single one of you. Hopefully, I am doing a good job responding to every single one of your questions and providing content that is what you guys are wanting. Okay, based upon the subscriptions I've been receiving, a lot of the topics have been profit trailers. So, here. Here's another profit trailer topic, and this is a pretty good one. You ready for this, guys? This is me telling you you should host your VPS in AWS. If you're a new guy that's starting up right now, you need to host your VPS on AWS, and that's fine. I'm not going to... And let's justify it right now. So I did a video roughly about a couple weeks back. Profit trailer VPS for free, but it's not completely free, okay? So let me go ahead and show you what, guys what I mean by that. If I go to my billing, all right, so I already have this loaded. I've been charged $2.01 for the month of February. However, it's not $2.01. Uh, there's a lot of additional charges that I racked up that are not related to my VPS. Like, for example, I forgot to assign this Elastic IP, which cost me $0.34. Cents. Um, there was Pacific, uh, there was some something I had in Tokyo that cost me $0.01. Cent. Again, Tokyo cost me another $0.04, cents, as well as this Route 53 cost me 50 cents. So overall, uh, the instance should have cost me uh, costed me about, let's see here, I have it, I already wrote it, wrote it out. It should have, it costed me so far $1.16 for about 17 days. So if we just multiply that by two and just be very generous about that number, at most you're gonna be paying $2.50. And boom, second topic. Binance is using AWS, Amazon Web Services, to host their whole infrastructure. Maybe not their whole infrastructure, but a lot of their infrastructure. While you guys are hosting VPS, there's a lot of VPS providers out there. While you guys are creating instances in these small little regions, small you know websites that do this, uh, Binance is comfortable hosting their main services with AWS. Okay, so that is a testament on the service reliability first so security and reliability availability is a big deal so i know you see this additional information here but let me confirm how i found out that binance is located in ews tokyo if i look at my data transfers from my us where my uh, vps is located right here 54 gigabytes out or in from tokyo and it, it's free. So that's the nice part about it. Because if this wasn't free, I'll be charged a lot more uh, on my free instance because that's pretty excessive. 53 gigabytes of inbound data. Okay. So that's that aspect. So that was already a flag for me to, to say, hey, wait a minute. That looks like AW, uh, Tokyo AWS Binance is using that region because I'm getting data from that region significantly. Okay. So the other aspect behind that is when I do a trace route to the company, so uh, if you guys don't know what trace route is, my computer is at 10.0. This is sort of where my computer is at. Eventually, it will go to another computer. It will go to another computer, another computer. These are all routers or switches or whatever the case might be. And eventually, it goes to Japan. And then, guess what? It hits AWS, Amazon Web Services. The 5423.52.105, all these IPs here are owned by Amazon. Okay, so that already confirms to me that the, the when you're trying to reach Binance.com, you're actually hitting Tokyo uh, with all these other region, all this other information here as well. So the bigger thing for me was the fact that Binance is hosted in AWS and my VPS is also hosted in AWS. So you would assume communication between the two instances is really fast. Now there is a slight problem. I'm in Oregon and it's in Tokyo. Okay. So I need to go ahead and fix that. I need to host my services in Tokyo. So let me go ahead and quickly do this real quick too. And I haven't actually done this yet. Oh, what did I do? Uh, give me a second. Okay, it came back. All right, so. Uh, oops. Oops, I clicked too much. It doesn't like me moving too quickly here. Uh, 
Now you notice the instance is not that fast. Uh, when you have multiple things running, it's not that smooth. Um, I really should close down the Chrome browser here. I let it just sort of smooth out a little bit. It's downloading a lot of data right now because there's a lot of buy opportunities. Come on, Tracer. Any day now. So what I'm trying to get out of this Tracer is to showcase to you guys that for my system to retrieve data from Binance, it doesn't go through as many computers. Um, hopefully this tracer, trace cert has that information available. Okay. So far, it looks like I won't be able to see anything because um, the network is secure enough so that it won't show me the host names, perhaps. So I, that might be a possibility, uh, but it is taking these hops. It's just not showing me exactly how things are working in the back end, which is okay. All right. So. Uh, this wasn't a really good test, unfortunately, but my assumption is that my computer, because it's hosted in AWS, that I have better latency to Binance. Why, why does that matter to you then? Okay. Well, it matters to you because your bot is buying and selling, and if you could get ahead of someone else's bot, hey, you're, or even someone else's sell, if you see the numbers before them, that, that gives you a leverage, and that's the whole idea. So one of the things is, why didn't I host my services in Oregon? Well, the fact of the matter is, when I host this, uh, when I host uh, a VPS in uh, Tokyo, it just doesn't run smoothly. It like uh, the resources necessary to run the profit trailer bot is not enough for whatever reason. It's just not enough. Oregon has no problems whatsoever, but in Tokyo, I can even get initial setup done really well. I mean, it was just too much latency. I got tired of it. I said, no, nah, forget it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a Linux instance in Tokyo. Linux in Tokyo. Linux free in Tokyo. And that's my plan. Okay, hopefully in tomorrow. Maybe actually when I buy Profit Trailer Feeder, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to host everything in Tokyo and I'm going to host it with a Linux version. Because I really don't want to pay like 20 bucks for... Uh, a VPS server in Tokyo. It might be ten dollars, but I still don't want to pay for it. I want to use the free version. So I'm going to use a Linux version that's free on AWS in Tokyo, so it could talk directly to Binance servers immediately, and hopefully I get an edge because of that. Okay. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and conclude the video from here. Um, hopefully you guys like the video. Please thumbs up, subscribe, and please comment about the details we we discussed here. Thanks. Bye.